welcome to episode 72 of Out of Wenger's Shadow on FM24. I'm Jamie and coming up on today's episode it is the uh, group stage of Euro 2032. I'm going to show you at least the first two games in the group and if we've not qualified by the end of the Croatia match I will then show you Denmark as well. So uh, let's get straight into it and the team to face Netherlands is coming up in just a moment. Okay, here is the uh, team to face the Netherlands, and it is Restas in goal. Back four is Kamavinga, Lukeba, Saliba and Martini. Zaire Emery behind Kone and Chouameni in the central midfield. Ben Seguir on the left, Mbappe on the right, Mathis Tell up front. So let's submit the team. Go and give a team talk. <laughs> Okay, my assistant thinks this is a match we should be winning. Make sure we do. Um, okay, I'll do it with no gesture as I don't 100% agree with him, but I can't see any of the other options being any better. So I'll do it with no gesture and let's get into the tunnel. Much as it might be a cliche, is the first goal all important? Um, we want to play positively and make sure we're giving ourselves the best chance of a win. I'll go with that. Do I hope my team can produce? Um, we've had a good build-up and we look primed to perform. Mood in the dressing room is confident and they believe in themselves. So let's get out there and prove that. So uh, we will uh, get the uh, league table up so we can keep an eye on it. And there is the uh, Group B table. And we're 10 minutes in. We've had the better of it, but... Um, I think a demand more because we've not had anything to show for it yet and that's gone down quite well Mbappe isn't playing that well though which is a concern as he's one of our well he is our best player um, De Ligt plays it into Coop Miners Van Heck to De Ligt into De Jong and the keepers found Van Dijk at uh, Left back. It's played back into defence. De Ligt into Xavi, who goes all the way back to the keeper, puts a lot of heat on it. And uh, Coop Miners brings it away, but we've won it back. Mbappe to Kone, onto Ben Seguir, through for Chouameni. He's hit the woodwork. It's cleared away. And Unovar hammers it downfield. And Martini is able to pick it up and the highlight comes to an end. So let's demand more again. And it is Gertrude for the Netherlands to Coop Miners. Xavi. And he finds Van Persie. And Shaquille Van Persie finds the back of the net. And it is France nil, Netherlands 1. This is not the start we were looking for in the group. So we're going to need a demand more and we're going to need at least a couple of changes at half time and at the moment we don't look at the races. De Jong with a corner and it's headed away but Unovar is first to react. His ball finds Van Heck who gives it back to Unovar. Van Dijk and it's uh, De Jong is offside and we've got a free kick. Uh, but we don't get to see it. And there is the halftime whistle. We're losing 1-0. And we've been second best. So I'm going to thrash the arms. What was that? And uh, let's make some changes. Okay. Um, Saliba is playing really badly. Kunde can come on. And we'll take off. Is it Chiuameni that's uh, struggling? It is. And also we'll get uh, Kylian Mbappe off and bring on Mathis Lambord. And also Ben Seguir for Eliwahi. And that'll do for now. So start the second half, hit them with a demand more. 
and let's see if we can recover. At the moment, we are heading for defeat in our opening game, but Lambord's corner, and that was very nearly headed home. We look more dangerous already. We've got a corner from the other side, so it's a Lambord outswinger this time, headed away, and Kone into the area, Lambord pulls it back, and it's cleared over the heads of the French players, and the uh, highlight comes to an end. Now it is Tell with a free kick, curled into the area, header away, Van Persie, um, while he gets there first, finds Kunde, all the way back to the keeper, Restes, Costello Jr. into uh, Kone, round the corner from Tell, but it's cut out by Gertruyder. Verbruggen finds De Ligt to Van Dijk. And Van Dijk up to halfway, plays it back to De Ligt, who's forced back again to Van Hecker. Van Hecker into midfield. Coop Miners gives it away. Zaire Emery gives it straight back. And Van Persie finds Unavar, who plays it into the box. And Xavi is in. Xavi Simon scores. And the Dutch have got a two-goal lead. And uh, we've got half an hour to dig ourselves out of a massive hole. So Mathis Tell needs to come off. And Junior Krupe can come on. And hopefully this isn't uh, a sign that we are going to be... Uh, a soft touch in this group. Hopefully this is just opening night nerves. We've got 15 minutes to go. Junior Krupe's picked up a knock. And Kone shattered, as is Martini and Zaya Emery. So uh, it's gone about as badly as it could have done this first game of the group. And that is pretty much that. And there is the full time whistle, France nil, Netherlands 2. I'll be back in a moment with the second match of today's episode. Okay, time now for the uh, second match in Group B in the uh, UEFA European Championships. And this time it's Croatia that are our opponents. And the team for this one, Restas in goal. Back four is Kamavinga, Lukiba, Saliba and Martini. Churam behind Kone and Chumeni in midfield. Ben Seguir on the left. Mathis Tell on the right. Killian Mbappe up front. So let's submit the team. Go give a team talk. Okay, this time my assistant manager wants to see a marked improvement from everyone. So do I. So we will point the finger and agree with him. And let's get into the tunnel. Um, where are you looking for improvements after a disappointing match against the Netherlands? Um, the way we played against them wasn't us. We need to get back to being ourselves and playing to our plan. Uh, he left Warren Zaya Emery out today despite him being in good form. What's the thinking there? Um, just rotating the team. Uh, will Costello Lukiba be able to play the full 90 minutes? I think so. So let's crack on and see if we can uh, get ourselves back on track by beating Croatia. And it is Kone who receives the throw in, crosses it in, the header, and Mathis Tell is there with the uh, follow-up as well. And we've got an early lead this time. It's Croatia nil, France won. So uh, we've got off to the start we wanted to last time. But uh, Croatia have a highlight immediately, although we've stolen the ball back. Ben Seguir down the left-hand side. And he is uh, playing it inside to Kone. Ben Seguir. And it's laid off for Chuameni, who applies the finish. And after two minutes, it is Croatia nil, France two. So uh, we are absolutely flying in this match now. And uh, we're beginning to repair some of the damage from that first game. But uh, Jokic with the uh, shot, and that is over the top. And Croatia very nearly got themselves back in it. 
It is Matinee with the throw in. Finds Mathis Tell. Matinee to Tell. Lays it off for two and many. 3 0. And we played nine minutes. We're absolutely on fire in this one. And uh, it is almost certain now that we're going to need to uh, show you the third match of the episode. Um, we're level now on goal difference with second place Denmark. And it is Ben Seguir down the left hand side, cuts inside. Kone shoots and very nearly finds the net. We'll have a corner. And it will be an outswinger from Mbappe. And it's uh, headed away. Mbappe again to Costello Jr. Churam, Camavinga, and the highlight comes to an end. What an opening uh, 20 minutes we've had. Camavinga, though, is already uh, carrying an injury. It's a bruised ankle, so I'm going to let him finish the first half. If it was a twisted ankle, I wouldn't. But a bruised ankle, he should be absolutely fine until half-time. He isn't recovering at all, though. So I'm not going to let him start the second half. Ben Seguir's ball forward is cut out. Uh, Vuskovic into uh, Buketa, Jokic to Simic, Ivanusic, and it falls to Buketa, and Lauren Buketa does get one back for Croatia. It's Croatia 1, France 3 on 42 minutes. And I think Kamavinga does need to come off. Uh, well, he is coming off anyway. And that's probably the only change I'm going to make. In fact, I'm not. I'm going to make two. I'm going to take Costello off as well. So, uh, happy, keep it up. But we're going to make two changes. So, Eduardo Camavinga for Teo Hernandez. And Costello Lequiba for... Um, Lenny Yoro. And in fact, Manu Kone can come off as well for Warren Zaire Emery. And let's get out there for the second half and see if we can finish the job. And um, we need another goal to uh, draw ourselves level on goal difference with Denmark. And we very nearly got it from our first highlight of the second half. Um, the question is, will Mbappe last the match? He's not playing that well. So actually, is it in my interest to keep him on? Ben Seguir with a free kick. He's gone for goal and he's landed it on the roof of the net. I think with Mathis Tell being on an 8.9, I'm going to put him up front. And I'm going to take Mbappe off and bring on uh, Lambord. Or maybe Colin Mawani. No, I'm going to go Lambord and get back into the match. As Chumeni finds Mathis Tell and it's tipped over the crossbar for a corner. And it will be Hernandez with the left footed in swinging corner. And that's headed behind for another corner. Which Hernandez will also take. So another left footed in swinger. Header away. Yoro heads at goal. But Kavina is able to make a comfortable save. And we're now into the last 20 minutes. Um, Chuameni needs to come off. And we'll bring on Ginduzi. And Ben Seguir. In fact that's our last sub. Corner is uh, crossed in. Gvardiol gets it. Jakic and Christian Jakic finds the back of the net. And suddenly there's only a goal in it again. It's Croatia 2, France 3. So demanding more. And very, very soon I'm going to drop back to uh, cautious. There we go. Let's do that now. And let's just hold on for the win. And we have got it. Croatia 2. France 3, we're definitely not qualified yet, so I'll be back in a moment with the uh, third match of the group stage. 
Okay, time now for the third and final match in European Championships Group B. And this time our opponents are Denmark. And the team for this one is Restes in goal, back four of Hernandez, Lukiba, Saliba and Gusto. Gwenduzi behind Kamavinga and Chuomeni in midfield. Mathis Tell on the left, Kylian Mbappe on the right and Junior Krupi up front. Let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. Okay, my assistant is recommending it's a match we should be winning. Make sure we do. I think we pump the fists and agree with him. And let's get into the tunnel. Um, should we expect to see an attacking approach against Denmark? Champagne football's the aim. Uh, what sort of match are you expecting between two teams with starkly different styles? Um, hoping we've got the edge. Uh, Kylian Mbappe is set to make his 155th appearance for France. How much does he mean to the team and the supporters? Delighted for him. He's a wonderful player. Let's see if he can put on a performance. So we'll get underway. And uh, we know we've got to win the game to go through. So anything less than that is not going to be enough. Hermansen with the goal kick, launches it downfield. And Denmark attacking. Um, Stenild on the right wing, crosses it in. The header down. And it's put behind by Lukiba for a corner. I am going to demand more. We've played nearly 10 minutes. And we haven't been in the game yet. But uh, Restes grabs hold of the corner. And the highlight comes to an end. We've got a free kick. And it is Mathis Tell over it. And he puts it on the roof of the net. Not the first time we've seen that uh, today. And at the moment, uh, what we need is Croatia to beat the Netherlands. And that would enable us to sneak through. I think. In fact, it wouldn't. Um, so we have to win. There is no way around that. We've got to get a win. And it is Saliba to Genduzi. Gusto on the right hand side. Crosses it in. Mathis tells header. Mathis tell with the goal. France won. Denmark nil. We've got the uh, the lead that we need. And that should lift us into second. It does. Now we will top the group if Netherlands lose to Croatia. And we manage to hold on against Denmark. It is half time, 1 0. And we're doing well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, in terms of changes. Um, Aurelian Chiuameni is tiring. Get him off. And we'll bring on uh, Manu Kone. Um, we'll take off Kylian Mbappe. And bring on Mathis Lambord. And I'm also going to take off Ma um Yeah, I'll take off Mathis Tell as well. And we'll bring on Ali Wahi. And that will, in fact, I'm going to make a fourth change and bring Saliba off and Kunde on. Start the second half. And hopefully we can uh, add another goal or two. Krupi with the uh, free kick. And Hermanson puts it behind for a corner. And it's going to be a Teo Hernandez in-swinger. Near post, headed away. Lambord, but the highlight comes to an end. And at the moment, in fact, we've got another corner. Another Hernandez in-swinger. And Junior Krupi can't hit the target from very close in. So I might have to take Junior Krupi off. And bring on Bradley Barcola. And then we'll move um, Eliwahi up front. 
and confirm that change. Kunde to Gusto, comes forward, plays it out to the right for Lamborg. Gusto, back to uh, Kunde. Infield is Ganduzi, finds Gusto, and Gusto is thwarted by uh, the keeper. We'll have a corner, and it is Hernandez again. His in swinger is headed away. Lamborg, and the highlight comes to an end. It's with Restes, our goalkeeper now. He bowls it out for Costello Jr., finds. Hernandez, who crosses halfway, plays it down the left wing for Bradley Barcola, finds Camavinga, who forces the save out of Hermanson in the Denmark goal. We've got a corner then, it's Hernandez with it. So another left footed in swinger, near post, and it's cut out. Camavinga to Hernandez, back to Genduzi, feeds Barcola into the middle. And Mathis Lamborg puts it in the back of the net. And it is France 2, Denmark 0. So we have the second goal. We've got the security blanket we need. And at the moment, it's Netherlands 1, Croatia 1. We need Croatia to score again if we're going to top the group. And they haven't. The Netherlands have. So we are going to have to settle for second in the group. And we just need to avoid conceding two goals in the last nine minutes to go through. We've got no more subs left. After this corner, I'm going to drop back to uh, cautious. Um, as long as we don't concede from it, which at the moment we haven't. But friend drop, and that's into the arms of Restes. So now I will go cautious. And let's hope we can just hold on now and see it through with no drama. We're into four minutes of stoppage time. Ganduzi with a free kick. It's headed away, but Barcola picks it up. Drives forward and then gives it away himself. And Gusto picks it up on halfway. Finds Barcola to Gusto, who is looking for options on the right. He's been brought down. That is right on the edge of the area. I honestly have no idea whether this is inside or just outside the box. And the verdict is it's a penalty and a chance to absolutely put the uh, rubber stamp on uh, the match. And it is Teo Hernandez sends the keeper the wrong way. It's France 3, Denmark 0. And we're into the final minute of the uh, four added at the end of the 90. And there is your full-time whistle. It finishes France 3, Denmark 0. I'll be back in a moment to confirm the final group table and tell you what's coming up on the next episode. Okay, time now to uh, round up the episode by uh, showing you the uh, group the table as it finished as you can see Netherlands finished top with a perfect three wins out of three we finish in second place with two wins and a defeat and going home are Denmark with a win and two defeats and Croatia who uh, ended up losing all three matches so let's have a look now at what is coming up on the next episode and I am going to bring you extended highlights of our um, second round match in the European Championships against Portugal. So if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.